Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Power Toys has received an update, which rolled out late yesterday in my region. And the latest version is version 0.92. Now just to focus on the highlights for the purpose of this video, and we get five highlights. The first is that Power Toy Settings now has a toggle for the system tray icon, giving you control over its visibility based on personal preference, according to Microsoft. And I actually think this is a very nice move in the right direction. Where previously, when you launched Power Toys, this system tray icon would always appear. Now, if we head to the actual setting, show system tray icon. And you can see it's been removed. And there we've popped it back. And I actually think that's a very small yet significant change. And I'm actually very happy to see that one myself. And then the next highlight and improvement is if we head into our system tools, head to command palette. Command palette now has ahead of time compatibility, AOT for short, for all first party extensions, improved extensibility and core UX fixes which Microsoft says results in better performance and stability across commands. And the next highlight is if we head to Color Picker, is Color Picker now has customizable mouse button actions. Click on that, primary click, middle click and secondary click. So we can change the functions for, as mentioned, left, right, and middle click, which according to Microsoft enables a more personalized workflow. And I actually think that's also a nice move in the right direction. And heading back to our settings, apparently the bug report tool now has a faster and clearer reporting process with progress indicators, improved compression, auto cleanup of old trace logs, which I think is a nice move and inclusion of M6 installer logs for more efficient diagnostics. And the fifth and final key highlight, if we head to File Management, File Explorer add-ons, File Explorer add-ons now have improved rendering stability, resolving issues with PDF previews, blank thumbnails, and text file crashes during file browsing. So although we haven't got any major new features with this latest release, I personally think that one or two of these little tweaks and adjustments are a nice move in the right direction. And something else I've noticed, just on a side note, is if we head to the top right, there is a shutdown button that looks very similar to what we get on Windows. And I've always said in the past that Power Toys is almost becoming its own operating system. And this shutdown button, if you have the app open, obviously, and you've got the system tray enabled for the icon in the system tray, this completely shuts down everything where it also closes down the system tray icon and if we relaunch that previously when you close the app without this button you would still have the system tray now you've got two options you can enable or disable the system tray and you can shut down the app completely so i think that's actually a very nice move in the right direction and Power Toys, in case you're unaware, is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline Windows for greater productivity. But even your average home user can gain some benefit out of this app. And it can be downloaded for Windows 10 and Windows 11 from the Microsoft Store and is managed and maintained by Microsoft over on GitHub. And, and if you want to get the full change log, we've just gone through the five key highlights for this video you can click on the release notes and there we go and you've got the whole change log and there's lots going on lots of little changes and fixes taking place under the hood so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one